Hey guys, my name is Avishek and welcome you to my channel MBBS Treasure. Today we are going to read about osteology, bones, skeleton, its significance, development and properties. So what is osteology? It, it is a branch of anatomy. It is a branch of anatomy that deals with with studies of bone okay and bones when combines to form the skeleton so now we'll think what is the significance of skeleton significance of skeleton Significance of skeleton in this you have to remember that there is two important function first is mechanical Function and Second one is biological function In this mechanical and biological function Mechanical function has been divided into three important part and you have to remember it for all the time because in each bone these three important mechanical function exist. Okay, what is that? S P M. You can remember it in this manner. What stand for S? S stand for support. P stands for protection and M stands for movement so support what does mean support it gives shape resistance to all form of stress to the bone support means shape to the bone and resisting the all forms of stress okay and protection and we know that protection means it will be protecting the important things of our body or inner organs like brain, spinal cord and inner organs. And for movement we know mobile articulations. of bones okay and what does this means biological function biological function it has two important things for each skeleton that is mineral metabolism okay mineral metabolism and hemopoiesis What does this mean? Mineral metabolism. Mineral salts like phosphorus, calcium, iron, these are formed. And hemopoiesis means obviously blood cells are formed. We will be discussing in details in this and further. Okay, now. What is the development? How the development of skeleton takes? Development of skeleton. Okay. During the phase of life, there are two types of evolutionary changes that we know. That is one is phylogenesis. And second one is ontogenesis. These are the two developmental features that we know. And what do you mean by phylogenesis? It is an evolutionary development of organism from lower organisms to higher vertebral organisms. Okay. So evolutionary 
development of a particular species of organism and what does means this ontogenesis it is individual individual development individual development of organism this means individual development of organisms and this lasts this lasts from the moment of fertilization okay moment of fertilization till time of death beginning from the moment of fertilization till death this period of development of the individual is known as ontogenesis and it has two further phases first one and second one first one is intra uterine or prenatal period and this one is extra uterine or post natal period okay in intra uterine and extra uterine period what you can understand the newly conceived newly conceived embryo development inside mother's womb okay and extra uterine means organisms developing outside mother's body organism that develops outside mother's body okay so from this two the process of development of skeleton starts from a simpler to a more complex due to the process of adaptation now the development of actual skeleton how does it takes place it takes place in three important stages during the development of skeleton what are these three important stages first one is connective tissue first stage is known as connective tissue then second stage is known as cartilaginous then third stage is known as finally the bony okay these three stages of skeleton development it attributes to the formation of bone and accumulation of bone forms the total skeleton of our body this process of development of skeleton is known as ossification ossification and when the bone develops directly from connective tissue to bone without undergoing this cartilaginous stage this bone is known as primary bones that bone which undergoes the process of development directly from the connective tissue and forms the bone without undergoing the cartilaginous stage is known as primary bones and the bones that are formed in these three consecutive and ways connective to cartilaginous then cartilaginous to bone this process all process this bone is known as secondary bone and what are the examples of primary bones examples is that most of the facial bones and the important is the clavicle these are the exception that grows directly from the connective tissue to bony form 
and all other bones they undergoes the process from connective tissue to cartilaginous and cartilaginous to bone all other bones and one more thing that you can say this connective tissue also as membranous form okay membranous form of bone now we'll see bone as an organ that is structure properties and its chemical composition bone is otherwise known as os or osseous okay it is a organ of living organisms that consist of several tissue among which bony tissue is important and these bones are complex white hard structures okay that join to each other to form skeleton and this joined by means of different connective cartilaginous or bony tissues okay so its structure is complex white hard structures and what is its properties if you will be looking after its chemical composition chemical composition of bone it has first one organic part second one inorganic part and third one is vitamin okay what does has organic part organic means is the most important that is osin that attributes to 28% of total bone and it is responsible for elasticity of bone elasticity for the purpose of elasticity it is important that organic part which is osin and then the inorganic part is that is that is the salts that is calcium salts calcium phosphate this total inorganic part attributes to 22% okay and personal this calcium phosphates attributes to 51.04% in the bones and what is it responsible in organic part is responsible for strength and hardness of bone what are the vitamins that are also present in this composition of bone that is a d and c that is responsible for development hardness and growth of bone now if you will be looking after the proper structure of bone proper structure of bone listen the structural unit of bone is known as ostean structural unit or haversian system and what is this means ostean ostean comprises of a concentrically arranged uh, the bone lamellae around the haversian canal and it comprises the vessels and nerves if i will draw let's see so if i will draw the ostean it will look something like this if i will take the superior view and the vertical cross section it will be looking like this 
what does this means ostium ostium is a structural unit of bone that comprises of concentrically arranged the bone lamella these are concentrically arranged the bone lamella this is bone lamella which is present around a central canal this this is central canal this this is central canal known as haversian canal and in this haversian canal it comprises of vessels like arteries veins and nerves arteries veins and nerves okay so it is always remembered in the form of van from medially to lateral okay and in this this is bone lamellae this is haversian canal and these are the vessels and nerves groups of ostium combines to form trabeculae plates of bones okay this forms the ostium combines to form the trabeculae and this trabeculae forms the plates of bones small small plates of bones in the next video i will be telling about the different types of substances of bone and what is bone marrow and what is periosteum thank you for watching this video and stay tuned for my next video